Welcome to Ensenada. We are at La Bufadora. This is what we came here for. This is uh, one of the three in the whole world. There's one in Alaska, there's one in Hawaii, and there is also one here in Ensenada, Mexico. Guys, how are you doing today, guys? Welcome to the Padora. Don't forget my tiny little much better. We are on the way to a blowhole. This is quite an adventure. All these stores, huh? Stores along the way. Man. Man, there's so many stores here. I think it's over 120 stores. This is the only thing you'll find for rich and ceramic. They have everything, anything you can think of here. As I said, it's over 100 and something stores here. Oh, here we go. Woo! Look at all the goodies. Best margaritas in town, guys. Feel free on your way back out and enjoy your time. All right, thank you. Hey, ladies, you made a pretty double two rolls. Here's our clam. Oh, wow, what is the clam? Flesh clam. Fresh clam. And a grill? You grill? Oh, I can't wait to taste this. All right, here we are. La Bufadora. Blowhole. What happens the water rushes in every time the wave comes and then it hits this blowhole right here and it comes up. Sometimes it comes up really high. <laughs> Here's where we're having lunch. Lydia's taco. It's supposed to be one of the best fish taco here in town. They also have lobster taco here as well. Okay, got shrimp taco and fish taco. Here's a um, mango habanera hot sauce. And there's also a regular chili sauce as well. So let me try a little bit of that. And here, hopefully it won't be too hot. You know the fish taco? originated here in Baja, Mexico. So we are in Ensenada trying the original fish taco here at the Lydia Taco. This is pretty popular place here. And here's a bite. Mm. It's good. What makes it is this right here. Mango habanero hot sauce. It's really good. See right. this little round thing right there? That's it's, uh, tuna from it. It's a blue thing tuna. I can't believe they have this here. Yeah. Blue thing tuna farming. This is the Civic Center. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, Civic Center. I mean, no, the Civic Center used to be a casino, casino, right? Casino. Yeah. Oh, this is where we are. It's silly. It's an old original, I think. Yeah, it's this is wood. So still. Original silly.
Well guys, this is our third stop and this is probably the best stop of the tour. This is wine tasting. This so is... we're gonna go in there and taste some wine. We are wine tasting here. They've been around since 1888. Wow. Here we are inside getting ready to do some wine tasting. And of course, you can taste some olive oil as well. So, wine tastings and olive oil tasting. Unfortunately, we are drinking out of plastic cups. This is a white wine. This is a, a French grape. Mm. It's actually nice. It's it's not, the, it's not it like very fruity. Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, flour in there as well. It's not bad. Now this is supposed to be a semi dry. How is it? Yeah, it tastes like a raspberry. It, it's not dry, it's semi dry. It's not sweet either. I like the first one better. Yeah, the first one's much better. Yes, for some time. Uh, because it's kind of dry. A little bit. It is. Yeah. It is. We're having a uh, wine tasting here at Santos Tomas. It's uh, almost 200 years old a vineyard. This is uh, a red wine. It's 100% 100 Cabernet. Everything is cold pressed extra virgin olive oils. You're going to find different flavors in individual one of the olive oils. Very easy to explain. I'm gonna to go to the mildest to the boldest, just like wine. We're gonna start, let's say, white and then go cavernous. It's gonna go here, mission. Basically the same, extra virgin, extra tart, extra bitter. Difference with the black label, you can cook. It'll resist high temperatures. So you're able to leave it a little bit more in the pan and you can still have the best of it. And still reserve the extra virgin olive oil properties that it has to maintain with it. Manzanilla. Chamomile, a lot of herbs in this one, but still mild, bitter to the end. <laughs> Sevillano, <laughs> best sellers of the house, we're gonna have Sevillano, Nevadillo, and Ascolano. This one's the two. This is uh, citrusy and herbal. More for everything is made for cold. You can grill a little bit with everything as long as you don't fry with it. You can like put it on top, uh -huh. put a chicken breast, put it on the grill. Awesome. This is citrusy and herbal. Nevadillo is citrusy. My favorite because I, you did see I like spicy, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. It's pepper flavor, very light condimenting. You're gonna mm. feel it a lot of like spice in your throat. It doesn't have chili, it just oh, feels. Wow. If you like raw beef, raw fish, you put it on top, it's like putting like a carpaccio. Mm. 